You got the astrogation chart, didn't you? I can tell by the look on your face. Did you ever doubt me? If I did, you've just made me a believer for life. Now, before I unleash you on Noman Carr and his Padawan, you must eliminate my spy on Nar Shaddaa. Head there immediately. Dr. Godera is on his way to you. I can only imagine what the Empire would have done with him if you hadn't been there. I've traced another artifact to Nar Shaddaa, but I'm still trying to locate the other two. I'll see what I can learn while you're on Nar Shaddaa. I never like asking for favors, Captain, but I think maybe we know each other well enough by now. I want to look for my cousin Rona. She's all the family I got left, and I think she should know what happened. Wasn't your whole family killed on Ord Mantell? Rona came with me when I left for the brigade, but she jumped ship at the first port. All she ever wanted was to get off Ord Mantell. I thought maybe we could track her down. You'd like her. She's really the reason I'm here. You two will be back together before you can say a verbal thirst vibroblade. Uh, a verbal... Th verbal... <sighs> so not that soon, then. Rona was kind of our family rebel. We used to have a blast together. She liked me to run interference, so her father never caught her on dates with off-worlders. I look forward to meeting her. On second thought, maybe I shouldn't introduce you two. Rona's always had a nose for trouble. I remember one time... Uncle came looking for Rona while she was on the shuttle pod with some Agamarian pirate. I was about 12. I didn't know how else to distract Uncle, so I started to fight. Got the whole ship confiscated. I never did find out how Rona got out of city jail. I love Narshada. This is the place you get everything you never knew you wanted. The only laws are the ones people make with bribes or blasters. It's good to be home again. Maybe you can show me the sights, gorgeous. Nice try, but we're here on business, not pleasure. There's a hut here named Druga who has a prototype starship engine. We need it to find Noctrayan's fortune. Druga and I made a deal. He'll trade the starship engine for that caged beast. How can that slobbering creature be worth a ship engine? It's the last male Shanjaru in the galaxy. The species is pretty much extinct. That makes it valuable. Druga's hosting a giant moving party on his pleasure barge. It stops periodically at different locations. Right now, it's on the promenade. I sent Druga several messages, but he never replied. You'll have to make contact the old-fashioned way. I can't wait to see what kind of party this hut throws. It's a shrine to grotesque extravagance. Rich lowlifes from across the galaxy spend a fortune attending Druga's gatherings. Before you go, one more thing. I know there's a price on your head from Rogan the Butcher over some business on Ord Mantel. Word on the holonet is, Rogan's personal bounty hunter is here on Nar Shada. His name's Zank Helrod. Watch out for him. You think Zank is here for me? It may only be a coincidence, but better safe than sorry. The sooner we finish our business with Druga, the sooner we can be someplace Zank Helrod isn't. Have fun at the party. Situation is like navigating an asteroid field. Hold you hut slaying scum. The cartel demands that you pay for your crimes. Listen to the Wookiee boast of his murders. This monster has slaughtered entire hut clans, but his reign of terror ends. Before he dies, he will know true fear. We Kalish warriors swear it by our blood. That Wookiee's not afraid of you, pal. Keep back, you idiot. That beast will tear your head off, just like he did to Nordro the Fearless. His claws are stained with the entrails of many. His bloodlust can't be satisfied. <laughs> warriors, kill these scum! <laughs> 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 Whoa, uh, Captain. Don't get so close. 
Things liable to tear your arms off and beat you to death with them. There's nothing to be afraid of. Tell that to the reptiles littering the floor. What's your story, Bodar? Kapatunga, Chisa Bijawongi Chikatoko. What do you mean, drama? It was all a big misunderstanding. I apologize for intruding. I'm sure someone else will want this rare specimen. There's no reason we can't get a deal here. We overheard your conversation with the Great Feast Master. Druga can be most fickle. You have our deepest sympathies, we are sure. Is there anything we can do about it? If you seek to conclude your business with Druga, use his fickle nature to your advantage. Returning Druga's female beast would rekindle his interest in yours. You sure about that? We have observed the Great Feast Master in past dealings. Druga is always most captivated by what is easily at hand. Look here. This holo recording was left by the thieves who stole Druga's female Shunjaru. It may interest you. When will the huts learn that nature's creatures are not for their sick entertainment? So long as innocent beasts are victimized by the decadent slave masters of Nar Shada, we will fight freedom for all life. The woman continues like this for another three hours. We use her recording to lull ourselves to sleep at night. She's a real windbag, all right. We are grateful her discourse is not the equal of her passion. We need our rest. The woman is a wealthy Republic Senator's daughter. She violently opposes all who abuse wild creatures. She spends her father's wealth hiring mercenaries to fight her war. They maintain a base nearby. Maybe I'll find that woman or the creature she stole at the mercenary base. We are sure we do not know, but perhaps those mercenaries do. Should you discover any useful leads, bring them to us. We will happily assist your search. We will dock this pleasure barge at these coordinates. Find us there. Good hunting. <laughs> I can't believe what you did to those Khalid. You're the bravest man I've ever met. I was just trying to impress you, sweetheart. This party has been a lot more exciting since you walked in. My name's Azali. My father owns a corporation on Corellia. He and Druga are partners. The only person I'm interested in hearing about is you. Me? <laughs> There's not much to tell. This is my first time here. I thought Narshada would be more glamorous. I haven't met anyone I'd consider pleasant company. Until now. <laughs> I feel the same way as Haley. You're very sweet. Not like these other people at all. Father asked me to pay my respects to Druga. I hope I see you again later. This is Carrick Station on Secure Channel Ion 8. Do you read? I'm receiving, and grateful you answered my call. I couldn't have asked for better. You are one of the Order's strongest champions. May your connection to the Force carry us to victory. You must face a powerful dark side presence and resist its influence. 
To fail could destroy your sanity. Or worse. I don't fear the dark side. Whatever this evil is, I'll face it. I'm not afraid. You should be. We received a distress signal from the planet Aethys. Archaeological survey teams were excavating Sith ruins there. They awakened something while gathering ancient artifacts. The dark side grows strong within those Sith ruins. And now the Jedi Council senses a profound disturbance in the Force there. Why would anyone explore Sith ruins in the first place? Their discovery was accidental. By the time anyone on the survey team realized exactly what they'd found, it was already too late. The survey team leader said his people were driven mad before being overwhelmed by something inside the ruins. He warned us to quarantine Aethys. But now intelligence reports indicate the Sith Empire intercepted those transmissions. Darth Malgus is putting together a strike team as we speak. Malgus must believe whatever is on that world can be useful to the Empire. I fear he's correct. The Empire has the advantage of knowledge we don't possess. Whatever evil presence has been unleashed on Aethys must not be allowed to escape, or worse, become a weapon of the Empire. Take a shuttle, end the dark side threat, and gather all the Sith relics you find for study and containment. May the Force be with you. Someone just land out there. This is Republic Survey Team 689 Mark 1. Our comm systems are badly damaged. Strongly advise you do not approach the ruins. Repeat, this is Republic Survey Team 689 Mark 1. I don't know who's hearing this, but most of us are already dead. Please come for us. Or they. they try to make converts. They worship. Some sort of Sith legend. I, I have to go. Our leader was a fool. The Republic sent us to this planet to learn, to see. And we have seen so much. We hear his voice in our minds. Are you a rescue mission? A cleanup crew? No matter. You will embrace his word as we did. You will never lay hands on his work. His servants have waited. For a thousand years, they will slay you and return to the stars. has been waiting for you. He will take your bodies and your ship. The galaxy will be his again. I speak in his name, the Lord of Heart and I.
This is Carrick Station. The threat on Athos is over, Master Satil. We gathered all the Sith artifacts we could. More importantly, you returned home safe. The Council no longer feels any disturbance in the Force coming from that world. Based on your discoveries, we now believe the ruins were once a great city built by a renegade Sith alchemist, Vodal Kresh. According to these artifacts, Vodal Kresh raised an army to challenge the Emperor's rule. The beings you fought in the ruins were their descendants. The man who was controlling everyone was a powerful Force user. He had training. Many Sith refuse to merge with the Force when they die. It's possible Vodal Crush still led his remaining followers, but you've ended that. If Darth Malgus had secured these artifacts and recruited the enemies you fought, it would have been disastrous. These corrupted things will be sealed away where the Sith will never find them. We owe you a great debt. Surely we stand to learn something from what we recovered. Must we hide the artifacts unexamined? Even the most experienced Jedi Master hesitates to work with Sith creations. Knowledge is power, but corrupted knowledge is deadly. I must report to the Jedi Council and inform them of what we've learned. Thank you again, and may the Force be with you. You wish to speak? Yes, my lord. I wanted to update you on the condition of your ship. It has responded extremely well to my optimizations. I'm pleased to report that we are operating at peak efficiency. I will accept no less, Captain. Of course, my lord. There will be no slippage. If there are deficiencies you see, or suggestions you have about my operations and missions, I want you to speak up. I will make such things clearly known. You can count on me. Permission to speak freely, my lord? You may always speak freely, Quinn. I'll keep that in mind. There's a reason I was languishing on Balmora before you arrived. A decade ago, I served under Moff Broisk at the Battle of Druckenwell. Moff Broisk made a critical oversight that brought the fleet to the brink of complete defeat. I ignored his order and turned the tide to victory. Do you make a habit of disregarding the chain of command? Not in the least, my lord. I implored Broisk, but he was blind, and the consequences of doing nothing would have been too great. Broisk took credit for the reversal, which is fine, but then he court-martialed me. Darth Barris assigned me to Balmora, or my career would have been over. Moff Broisk has blocked every transfer and promotion I've been up for since. I have no tolerance for fools like this Moff. I could say more about him, my lord, but my point is made. I serve you now, I have no regrets. I'll return to my duties. You know, I was a slave when I was a little girl. Before I got free. Sort of full circle, I guess. You work for a Sith, as all in the Empire do, but your collar has been removed. Right. I do appreciate the difference, believe me. My mother and sister and I were grabbed when I was little. I don't remember much of it. We worked the mines on Ryloth. Then they separated us. I got sold to a Rodian, then a hut. Then some sort of weird three-eyed thing. I'm guessing your masters found you more trouble than you were worth. Ha ha. Yeah, so I was never going to get Slave of the Year. Anyway, I guess you know you've moved around too much when a Sith ship starts to feel like home. You've learned to be adaptable. That's a good thing. Make the best of it? Yeah. Thanks for the talk. Apprentice, I see you've landed on Nar Shaddaa. It is, I'm afraid, the armpit of the galaxy. Must be your kind of place, Barris. In my youth, perhaps. Nar Shaddaa is a planet of frivolity and distraction. Gambling, spice, rampant black market and gang territory disputes. But you are there to eliminate my spy, Agent Delicon. Normally it would be a trifling task. But Delicon has acquired a powerful ally. Surely this person wouldn't dream of defying you. He seems to relish it. Agent Delicon's new benefactor is a young Sith Lord named Rothari, an upstart who openly disrespects my methods. Rothari prefers a more blunt approach. The Dark Council has granted him dominion over Sith interests on Nar Shaddaa. 
This Rathari and I might have a lot in common. If he continues to cross me, he will soon be dead. I doubt you want to have that in common. Agent Delicon knows much about my organization. I cannot have Rathari in possession of such a resource. Burn Rathari to the ground. Destroy everything he's working for. And kill Agent Delicon. I see you're not averse to overkill. This kind of defiance cannot be tolerated. Haladrel Setson runs my slave operation on Nar Shaddaa. She has been a valued operative for many years. She is ready to receive you and can fill you in on Rathari's movements and interests. That is all. Sweet talk me all day, darling. The exchange is moving in on this operation of yours. No amount of sugar gonna change that. Believe me, you're going to prefer the sugar to the spice. Take one step closer and there'll be two dozen Sith surrounding you. Two dozen? That's a dead giveaway, darling. You got none. One is all she's going to need. See? Not so smug now, are you, Captain? So you do got a Sith up your sleeve. Well, we've been trained to take out Sith. Time to flex our muscles. Muscles don't flex when they've been flayed off the bone. Let's see if you can back up that threat. Kill the Sith. You have a flair for dramatic entrances. I probably could have handled that, but uh, I'm grateful for your timing. You're the apprentice Darth Barris prepped for me, yes? What exactly did he tell you about me? Barris told me why you're here and how I can help. He neglected to tell me how dashing you are. And Barris failed to tell me what an alluring woman you are. Well, well. A Sith with a beating heart. Halidrell sets in. So you're here to take out Lord Rathari. Won't be easy. He usually just appears, devastates, then disappears. You'll have to draw him out. He's been making some major power plays, and disrupting them will get his attention. I'll enjoy ruining Rathari's plans. He's gonna go nuts, so be ready. First, Rathari's been strong-arming the Hutt cartel. From what I hear, they're close to signing over some important territories to him. He and his apprentice Girik are in conference with the Hutts at cartel headquarters. If you burst in... Rathari would be none too pleased. Neither would the Hutts. The cartel is an imperial ally. Rathari can't just beat on them. He has to play diplomat. Unfortunately, the same applies for you. If things turn violent between you and the Hutts, Better if there's no one left to identify you. Don't tell me how to do my job. Just trying to cover all the options, my lord. Force of habit, working for the Darth. When all this intrigue is over and Rathari is a memory, maybe we can get to know each other better. That will definitely be in order. I look forward to it. I have a feeling you and I will get along real well. I've got a shipment of slaves to send out, but I'll be here if you need me. Good luck, my lord. General, I've arrived on Nar Shaddaa. Still no word from Agent Galen? Negative. After Terrace and Ord Mantell, I fear the worst. I'll warn you now. The project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Conversations like this never end well. After the Empire's victory on Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. We looked weak, helpless. The Senate authorized research into science we had no business exploring, using technology to turn ordinary men into living weapons. The Power Guard program was creating the ultimate soldier, one tough enough to fight a Sith head-on. I was expecting something that could threaten a whole planet. Think how much damage a lone Jedi can do. Now multiply that by thousands, or millions. Nar Shaddaa has the latest advances in cybernetics, combat adrenals, personal armor and weapons. Everything we need to create the Power Guards. There's also a distinct lack of government oversight. You're in hot territory, neutral space. Laws are practically non-existent. This is against everything the Republic stands for. I tried to distance us from the corruption. I thought I could keep us clean. I placed a single operative in charge of the Power Guard project. Gave him unlimited authority and enough credits to fund the program. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. I don't even know where it is. Darth Angrel's henchman on Coruscant said all our research facilities were compromised. 
Our operative's name and contact data were in the file stolen on Coruscant. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. But I can only assume they're dead or captured. If they're alive, I'll save them. But what about the weapons project? Our research can die for all I care. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service branch on Nar Shadda. The Bureau Chief's name is Raikin. SIS headquarters is hidden on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift in the back to meet with Raikin. What should I know about this promenade area? It's the center of commerce. You'll be rubbing shoulders with all sorts there, even the enemy. But the huts don't permit violence. Transmitting the location coordinates and turbo lift security code to you. Good luck. Barsuthra, out. Oh my skies, a Jedi. Please help us. Innocent people are being slaughtered in the streets. I minister planet with the Republic's diplomatic corps. I was almost killed out there. The Kintan King's gang controls this part of Nar Shaddaa. They're violent and well-armed Nyctos who hate the Republic. The gang attacked me right out on the street in full view of everyone. My bodyguards were dead before I knew what was happening. Where can I find these killers? They're still outside, but I have worse news. The murders aren't the worst of it. My bodyguards all carry Republic passcodes, and now the gangsters have them. With those passcodes, the Kintan Kings can slip right through our security. We'll be defenseless. Don't worry. I'll get those security passcodes back. I fear a Jedi is the only one who can resolve this crisis. Recovering our security passcodes from those filthy criminals will save countless innocent lives, including mine. The Kintan Kings who shot my bodyguards are still outside the spaceport. They have the passcodes, I'm sure of it. Oh, this is disaster, Barish. How can I deal with enemies who don't negotiate? Ya power kulka, turuni kuna wawunda dunko. Minister Planet sent me. I have your stolen security passcodes. I couldn't believe our luck when he sent word you were coming. You have my gratitude. I'm Ambassador Avedon. This is Barish Fanak Toril, one of the system's most prominent business leaders. Welcome. I was starting to wonder if the Republic was all alone here. Uh, far from it. Barish has been a great friend to the Republic in a dark time. My mission is to establish strong Republic ties on Nar Shaddaa. We need its technological assets to defend ourselves against the Empire. Nar Shaddaa's leaders sold us an entire sector to use as our base of operations. Unfortunately, it's overrun with Kintan King gangsters. Nar Shaddaa isn't known for its law-abiding citizens. No offense, Hut. <laughs> The Kintan Kings want us out of their territory, and they're winning. A Jedi who was helping us was found butchered in the open street. Those gangsters did horrible things to him. Can you tell me how he died? We are not certain, but there were strange cuts and markings on his body. Almost ritualistic. Morgukai are an Ikto cult. Jedi hunters trained to resist the Force. I've been trained to deal with Sith, Ambassador. I assumed the dead Jedi was too. The gangster's attack on Minister Planet was a diversion. Their true goal was hijacking a Republic military freighter carrying cybernetic combat implants. We don't need Kintan Kings with enhanced speed and strength. When you have the implants, take them to an arms merchant named Nurkulus. He secretly works for Barish. I'm not familiar with in or Chabosh. Siklaika, Redaika Ja, Rajufna Ja Katarhida. Mat insok ja, Himan Kudana, Ja Ion Pro Kumana. Pai Power Jus, Ja Af Apidun, Pataja Sungadras. Continue to follow me, and I promise those days will return. 
in Sogja, Himan Gundana da Ayupro, und in Amagas Kapana, Warpan, Himinam Arpai Bohav Nona. Apprentice, you've reached Narshada safely. Good. Don't let the glittering towers fool you. Misery and desperation rule the slums below. And desperation can drive people to many things. Remember that in your attempts to recover the artifact here. Any idea where I should start? In this case, the who is more important than the where. The artifact, a pendant called the Eye of Tulak, belongs to the Sith Lord Palladius. He's lived here many years, converting Narshadar's poor and suffering into zealous followers. His own cult. He sounds like a very cunning man. I admire that. Cunning, devious, persuasive, yes. And atrociously stubborn. Palladius leads his cult from seclusion, but you can draw him out. I've contacted two of his former cult members. They're in hiding now, fearing retribution, but hungry for revenge. They should prove useful. How did you convince these fools to help? I have encouraged their cooperation with the assurance that once Palladius is gone, the cult is theirs to lead. Circumstances change, of course. Do whatever you feel is necessary with Palladius and his cult. The artifact is all that matters. Oh, Destris, dear brutish Destris, and Riley, so beautiful and intelligent. You were like children to me, which is why it pains me to do this. You can cut the act, Palladius. You never cared about any of your children. We don't need a tyrant for a father. Ah, well said. Marvelous last words. Truly, I expected nothing less, which is what makes this so hard. Now, if you'll excuse me. My other children would like to play with you. What have we here? The cavalry looks like. I appreciate the help, but I had it under control. Agasar Chalis embarks prize war pairing Swase ik bus karadida. Easy, Destris. This isn't some holo you're talking to. My lord. You would be wise to follow her lead. Of course, my lord. Sorry. There was a lady Sith a while back, Darth Sash. Said she'd send someone to help us out. You it? Palladius has something I need. And if helping you will get it for me, then yes. Good, because it makes me sick to think Palladius is out there while I'm cooped up in this rat hole. Palladius built his empire on the backs of the poor. Said he'd save them from their miserable lives. Said we'd make a, what's it, a mighty sword and strike against our enemies? It was all lies. It was all lies, but you win the support of the poor, you knock Palladius' legs out from under him. The masses will worship me by dawn. Get him the way Palladius did. Find the biggest, most vicious gang on the block and crush them. Right now, the gang's the Crates, named after the Crate Dragon on Tatooine. Their leader, Sabin, thinks he's descended from one. Take out Sabin, and the masses will see you as a regular hero. Why should I be content to emulate Palladius? You're right, my lord. There are cleverer ways to steal Palladius' power. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. Prophet? Now that's more to my taste. I'm glad you approve, my lord. The cure to the rot is owned by Titus Neutronics. You'll have to steal it from their warehouse, then distribute it. In this case, I'd rather be loved than feared. Good, but be careful. The warehouse is heavily guarded. But if you can steal the cure and distribute it in the Corellian sector, you'll own the lower classes.
Welcome to Nerculus Arms. If it shoots, stabs, fries, or detonates, I stock it. I see you've got Barisha's combat implants. He'll be a happy hut. I gotta say, I expected a lot more Jedi after the Kintan King slaughtered that other one. You're all they sent? Jedi leave law enforcement to the proper authorities. Proper authorities? A Nar Shada? You just landed here, didn't you? One thing's for sure. The Mountain won't be happy when he finds out what you did. That's what they call the Kintan King's leader, by the way. The Mountain. Three guesses why. Gangsters like to sound tougher than they are. In this case, it's no exaggeration. Saw him once. Wish I hadn't. Only thing the Kintan Kings fear is the Mountain. He's everywhere, all the time. People who rule by fear always have a vulnerable spot. Eh, uh, just be careful that you don't trigger an avalanche when you hit the mountain's weakness. Say, since we're being so cordial and sharing, maybe we can discuss a little side business. Those combat implants are first-rate merchandise. We could, uh, score a sweet profit selling a few in the black market. That technology is a gift from Barish to the Republic. Hey, I'm not saying we take them all. Besides, Barish has other gifts. I'll tell Barish the Kintan Kings used some combat implants before you raided them. He'll believe me as long as you don't disagree. What Barish doesn't know won't hurt him, and that'll make us richer. Sound good? I'm not making any deals with you. Hey, take it easy. I was only kidding. Uh, hey, look. Barish is on the hollow. Hey, we got back all those combat implants, boss. Quiggy Matako, Nankisei. We intercepted a hollow message ordering the Kinton Kings to protect their slave market. They're selling kidnapped Republic citizens. Do you have any doubts about this whatsoever? Our people have been disappearing for weeks. I thought they were being murdered. But now we know better. Some of the kidnapping victims are Force-sensitive children, who are passing through here on their way to the Jedi. I shudder to think what those criminal scum have in mind for the children. No one's harming innocents while I'm around. Barish believes the gang's slave market is in the ruins of an old casino. It's time to finish this. There is no need to discuss this further. Please hurry. Free our people before it's too late. My lord, I wanted I wanted to apologize for Dustris earlier. He was out of line. At least one of you knows her place. I have a great deal of respect for you. I just wanted you to know that. You you radiate a, a power that Palladius, for all his ranting and demanding, never did. I'm glad you noticed. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius's cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings. I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. This wouldn't be a ploy to outplay Destrus for my favor. I'm sorry. I thought the Sith smiled on ambition, but in any case, I was only trying to help. The place is called the Strell House, for a charity worker named Dagan Strell. The people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something, and I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. A well-known location can't hurt either. I'd considered that as well. It's both well-known and accessible. If you mean the future leader of Lord Palladius's cult, then yes. I'll send your body back to your master in pieces. Tuta Olya, Nudja, Kechawa Joto do Bedbita. 
Jo bana pihota mindia. That was Garnock. You defeated Palladius' right-hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the great healer after your little trick curing the rot. Look what I found outside. My lord, for helping to cure our families and neighbors of the rot, we humbly present you with this gift. Already the masses bow to me. We are honored to serve you, my lord. Isn't this great? Cure one lousy disease and you already got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to present the virtues of my own cult. With all respect, these are Palladius' most faithful we're talking about. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait! I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself? Make a ground quake? I walk into Palladius's speech and make the very ground shake. I like it. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Nar Shaddaa Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. I can't wait to see the look on Palladius' face. Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector, not far from Meridian Hall where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destris sent you. You're the fabled Jedi killer? Shouldn't you be taller? I do not fear you. Leave those innocent people alone. I'll face you. Chanusna, a subwi mota uipa, muja do chalta. Ai tutamishka jiho lokuta, kutogi kumpa, jiji no lia makichisa. Why didn't someone tell me the mountain is five ugly freaks? Se gota do muti kihasa da punyo. Please the wodo. Just cruni do pat kurira, do kanki kum. Kabano tase makipuna, mali tuta udmishka. Kula woska, wabo nutskre uka tekalia. Regardless of Barisha's motives, you'll pay for everything you've done. Mistuka mo go to parchichisa domba. Bagthra wana waga mi punawa duetwipe. Tanuma Gipawato! 
This information must be revealed to Ambassador Haverdon. You're still only motivated by greed, Burish. You can't buy your way to respectability. You have to earn it. The Kinton Kings are retreating thanks to you. The Republic citizens are finally safe. I should be happier, but Barish just told me some distressing news. Jedi are sworn to uphold the truth, Barish. Nar Shaddaa is critical to the Republic's future, and allies are in short supply. I'll work with you, Barish, but I'll keep a close eye on your activities. Thank you for everything you did, especially revealing the truth. Is there any other way I can be of service? I hope you'll forgive me for seizing upon your generosity, Master Jedi. As you're among the few people I can trust here, would you take on another matter? A local man named Ilox has requested Republic assistance in the Red Light Sector. If you find yourself there, please speak to him. <laughs> 